Okay, so this is just a quick unboxing of a parcel I received today from Tim Hoogland at TH3D Studios. Uh, this was sent to me. Just bear with me and I will check my notes. This was sent to me, ordered on June the 13th. Um, flown by UPS over to the UK and then delivered to me via Royal Mail. Um, as you can see, or possibly can't, total value of the contents in the box is $316.43, which is fine. Gets to this country, goes through customs and excise, through our border force agency, and we get an additional label on there, which you possibly can't read, it may not focus. Um, basically, I shall read it to you. It says customs ch charges are applied to imports to the EU with a value of over £15 for VAT. La di da, la di di, la di do. Um, so the import duty is four pounds, sorry, is five pounds and 44 pence. The VAT payable on this little box here, the VAT payable is 51 pounds and 91 pence. And then Royal Mail take an international handling fee of another eight pounds. So I had to go and pick this up from my local post office this morning and pay another 65 pounds 35p on top of the $316.43p I'd already paid for the stuff inside it. But we'll forget about that because I knew that was coming. That was to be expected. What I wanted to do was to show you what I've got. We shall unbox it together. The box seems to have survived the trip, the flight very well. Seems to be no issues with the, the packing. Packing seems very good. But I'm going to open it with you. We're going to look at the items inside, have a quick look around them, and then I will discuss what we're going to do going forward with the items I have here. So, yeah, these were ordered, like I say, on the 13th of June. So they've been packed and sent and got to me in 10 days. So that's pretty much fantastic. I mean, you can't ask for a better service from that, from Tim. Uh, 10 days from end to end from his door to my door including packing everything else uh, fantastic service really when I ordered the items I immediately got an email which give me gave me uh, the information I needed to be able to go online and access any downloads that were needed any firmware anything like that so nice little box Inside the box, we have one package. We have two package. And we have a piece of documentation. Which has got my address on it. So I won't show you that. But basically, it's a complete tick list of everything. It goes through what I've bought, what I've paid for it. A blank sheet of paper with the barcode on. Tim wasting paper. Not good. Nice little note saying welcome to the TH3D family. Just a nice little hello with Tim's signature and Sam's signature. So Samantha, thank you for the packing because I'm sure Tim won't have done that. So we'll start with this package here. See what's inside here. Okay, so we have here this, unless I'm very much mistaken, that is the solid bed kit, which will go on the Ender 3, which also has a camera mount on it, which in theory has the correct camera mount for putting my spare webcam on. So all the about parts are, are packed you even get the little cable ties with it it's all there we should take it all out and now i'm tearing these lovely bags that he, he sent it all in 
But if I need to work out what goes where, I can always look at the video again, can't I? So we're not going to worry about that too much. So I'm sorry about all the crinkling on the camera. But this is what happens when you do a live unpacking like this. So there's your solid bed mounts. 3D printed, nice quality, nice little inserts inside there. Come with a strain relief part as well, which has also got the, the bracket on it as well, the, um, the solid bracket on it as well. So the whole thing's there. So you've got your four corners. One, two, three, I guess strain relief will go there and then that one will go there. So that gives you solid bed. So you've no need to wind your springs up and down. And then that is the camera mount which sits on there with a little bolt through. And then my camera will go into there and we'll all be smiling and happy. Nice level bed, camera there so we can do some time lapses and stuff. Fantastic, wonderful. So that goes there. I'll just check what that will set you back if you'd like to purchase one of those. Really nice quality printing, I've got to say. Well done, Tim. Don't know which machine you did it on. Uh, just bear with me while I found it on here. The solid bed mounts. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. With the camera mount. Uh, for the C920, which is what I intend on putting on it. That was $24.99p. Next thing. Tough tube. PTFT Tough Tube, read a lot about it, seen a lot of what people said about it, thought I wanted to try it myself. That will set you back $7.99. So we'll get that banged on, one of the enders. You can see where this is going now, can't you? This is all for the Ender 3s. This is going to be a major amount of upgrade videos for the Ender 3 so this will change it basically from a bog standard Ender 3 as it is at the moment apart from the the mount I have on it the fan mount I have we're going to make it a whole world of difference I didn't think about this did I I should have really had my knife with me but I haven't so we'll just go off camera for a second we will have a look in this bag and this bag here. Not whether you can see that. Oh, I've just dropped a washer out. I've just dropped another washer out. Don't worry, I won't lose them. There we go. Little packs of bearings. Like that. Some nuts, some washers, one of which I've just dropped on the floor. And some tough wheels. So this is the tough wheel upgrade kit for the Ender 3. So this will give me the, the tougher wheels, the rubber, so we won't have the issues that some people are having with wear and tear on the soft rubber that comes with them. So we'll put those on if you'd like to buy one of those. They are currently for sale at $51.99. So that's a tough wheel kit, so you get all the bearings, all the nuts and the washers and the actual wheels themselves. So there's that to go on. Back into the first bag again. We can lose that now. Yeah, no sweeties. This bag yeah, I've got the solid bed mounts. I got the solid bed mounts for a reason because I'd also ordered the Easy ABL kit. This is the direct wire kit. Much copied. Never bettered, that is for certain. So in this bag we have You get the sensor, you get the nicely printed, tidy, neat little box. I won't be showing you the internals, although I'm sure you've all seen them on the website. 
a length of cable so I can do my direct wire onto my power supply and the lid with a little TH3D logo on it. There we go. We might just see. Excuse me, camera. There we go. Little TH3D logo on it there. there. Oh, if it will ever focus. Come on, camera. No, it doesn't want to focus. But it's on the lid there. That slides nicely over the top. So that's to go on as well. So that's that package done. That will cost you. That with a direct car wire, wire kit is $49.49 for the direct wire kit. But there's more. I know. I went completely mad. Has to be said. So we have. Let's work out which one this one is. Gone down two slightly different routes here. I'm going to try the same things. That is an upgrade for the extruder. That is the upgraded aluminium extruder with steel feeder gear. So we'll bob that on. We'll give that a go, see how that does. That, if you wish to purchase that from Tim, is $11.99. Good piece of kit. All the parts are in there that you need. Then I thought I'd like to try something a bit different. So I've also ordered and got, this is the tough extruder. So this will be worked possibly best in relation with the tough tube. So that's the tough extruder, which I'll have to put together. I'm sure there'll be some online instructions. If there aren't, I shall be getting hold of Tim, but I'm sure there is. So we'll be putting that on and seeing what difference that makes for printing flexible materials, that kind of thing. That, if you want to purchase one of those, they're $39.99. So there we go. And the final thing in the bag. The final thing in the bag. Start you off with a bit of a clue. an SD card adapter oh there we go an SD card adapter scan disk one at that what would I want that for what else have I got in the bag I've got a power supply which you can't get into yeah AC adapter now okay I'm gonna need an adapter to go on here but that's no biggie we've got hundreds of them in the house uh, ooh, what does it say? 240 volts, not 0.3 amps. The output is 5 volts at 300 milliamps. No, isn't it? It's 3,000 milliamps. So why would I need that with the USB connector on it? That's why. That is an EasyPi Octopi kit. It's special case this case has specially been designed so it actually got some t-nuts on there and it will actually sit on the top rail of the printer because of course this is for one of the ender threes the sd card is already in all the ports are already there so i just literally plug this in add my own cable to connect to the printer and away we jolly well go and that's it so we've got EasyPi Octopi print kit, which will set you back. Sorry, I forgot to say this is $129.99. That's the version I got. That is the setup with this and the SD card. I can't remember how big the SD card was. It escapes me. And it's a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I'll just nip that SD card out and tell you what the size of the SD card was. Just bear with me. I don't know whether I'll be able to do this. No, I can't do this at the moment. I can't do it. Won't be able to show you. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll put in the description what size the SD card was. I'm sure Tim's shouting at me now, watching this. But that again, nicely printed. Nice little design. All nicely put together. I will look up what size the SD card that comes with it. 
but clearly it's big enough to have everything on it so yeah you get that you get that you get an sd card it doesn't sell on it does it no so there we go so that's 129.99 we've got the easy abl kit this is the direct wire kit you get all the software online there are links in the emails that you are sent when you order this stuff to how to get it and instructional videos on how to do it but we will be doing a, a live put on of this as well i would imagine so we'll have a look at that i've got the tough extruder with a three to one gearing for either bowden or direct driving uh, that's 39.99 i've got the tough tube give that a go as well i've got the upgraded aluminium extruder with the steel feeder gear we're just going to see if that is an improvement over the standard on the end of three we've got the solid bed mounts of course which go in conjunction with the abl sensor and that also has the camera mount on it from sc920 and finally sorry yep the uh, yeah, the bed mounts are $24.99, including the camera mount. You can get it without the camera mounts. You can get it with different camera mounts. It's all there on his website. And finally, it's a tough wheel upgrade kit for the Ender 3, which comes with the bearings, the nuts, the washers, everything you need. So, of course, we'll be doing a video for those. So, that's what will be up and coming in the weeks when I get over my horrible cold that I've had. We'll go through all of this. We'll put each one of these things on. To one machine we'll leave the other one as standard as i've always said and we'll go through it i'd just like to say a real big thank you to tim for getting this to me as quickly as he has done i really do appreciate it and to sam for her help in doing the packing and making everything so straightforward i appreciate if you are in the uk um the import tax may make buying of this kind of thing difficult uh, but if you can't get it anywhere else I mean, you don't have to buy as much as I did. Like I say, I spent over $300. So the 20% on top is what made it the £60. If you're only buying one thing, uh, the actual import tax itself is very low. It is only the VAT that's expensive. So if you can keep to the cheaper items, you're not paying that much more on top. You are paying 20% on top. It can't be helped. That is nothing to do with Tim. That's the government. That's what you have to put up with. Like I say, thanks very much to Tim. Thanks very much to Samantha. In the up and coming weeks, we'll do some live stuff with this. I'll do some pre-recorded stuff with this. And we will see how it goes. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully not too long in the future. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye bye now.